All right, you guys, welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is catching up on the latest conspiracy theory plot twist when it comes to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, are the ladies plotting against Erica? My thought would be yes, because so am I. We're also going to get into Brandy Glanville. She came out with an official statement via People Magazine about her looking crazy out here on these streets. We can watch that video. And then also the allegations against her for assault against Caroline Manzo and also against one of the producers of the Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Now, it was not a physical or sexual assault against the producer. It was more of a verbal one, but we'll get into it. And then we can also talk about Drew Sedora. I did not watch this last season of Atlanta, but I did see bits and pieces of Drew and her hubby. And let me just tell you this, this was a long time coming. And then we can talk about Summer House. I was going to do a separate video, but you know what? We'll all be together and hanging out. So let's talk about Summer House. We'll do that at the end. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out the description box down below and join our newsletter. It is 100% free and then we have a bunch of goodies down there. So go ahead and check it out. So with that, let's dive right on in into our first story. Now, this is an exclusive from Raider Online, and it says, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast members plotting against Erica Jane after Lisa Rinna's exit. Quote, they want her gone. Now, before we dive in, side note, we've always said that we think that Lisa Renna was implicated in Botgate, right? And that was not the only reason why she got fired, but probably it was a big reason why she got fired. I bet you there was other implications that Erica maybe had knowledge of it or something along those lines. So I can see why they would want Erica gone too. And Lisa Renna herself has said, well, everything I did, Erica did too. So there's that. But let's dive right on in. Okay. Da, 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 da. Erica Jane is desperate to hang on to her $600,000 a season gig on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since her marriage to Tom Girardi fell to pieces. So Raider Online is claiming that Erica Jane is making $600,000 a season. Do we think that's true? Maybe that could track, you know, they say that Candy makes 2 million on Atlanta and she's the highest paid. So I could see how Erica Jane would be making 600 K, you know, I, I think that could track and that might sound like a lot, but I feel like with Erica Jane's lifestyle living in California, that's really not a lot of money given her lifestyle and everything else. Do you know what I mean? But let's keep going. Since her marriage to Tom Girardi fell to pieces, but sources say her co-stars are hell-bent on kicking her to the curb, RaiderOnline.com has learned. Don't forget, Tom Girardi was also just indicted and um, arraigned on, like, I think it was like 12, 18, 22, something like that, counts of fraud. So it's going down, you know, it's going down. Let's keep going. They want her gone and they're not hiding it, dished a, dished a source close to production. Caesar 13 recently started filming. The cast has been sharing photos from recent events where they all appear to be having a good time. We're, we're told the photos don't tell the whole story. Again, side note, this is what we've been saying. We talked about this earlier today in the last time we talked about Beverly Hills when I was like, okay, I get they're posting all of these like happy, happy, joy, joy, you know, photos on Instagram and, you know, love you, love you too. Yay, so much fun, so grateful, such great time, so beautiful. But I was like, eh, it seems like there's a fly in the milk. It doesn't seem like it's really as happy-go-lucky, you know, as they're trying to make it appear to seem. One, because I do think the powers to be at Bravo and NBC was just like, you ladies need to get it together. You know, let's not do the racism, homophobia, you know, uh, 
tearing down people's families, cursing at children, you know, cyber attacks. How about we stay away from that? How about we just, you know, stay away from all of that? So I get that strategy, but I do think that there's more going on than what meets the eye. Let's keep going. Bankruptcy Tom, <laughs> that's funny, 83, was once estimated to be worth $240 million, but Erica, 51, filed for divorce in 2020 as the Alzheimer's adult attorney was accused of embezzling more than $18 million from clients to fund his lavish lifestyle. A couple of things with that. Number one, did she actually file for divorce in 2020 or did they do a separation? Because they're not legally divorced. They're legally still married. Pretending to have, you know, an Ashley Darby, Michael Darby type situation, separation going on. But yet Erica says she still talks to him every single day. She said that he's still very sharp. You know, when he got indicted, we saw her with that big, vo that big vodka bottle in Burbank. And Tom is living in Burbank in the facility. So clearly she was going to go see Tom and have some drinks with him and drink their sorrows away because he was indicted. So she's clearly still very active in his life. Now, he may be accused of embezzling more than $18 million, but Erica Jane is facing a $25 million lawsuit herself because they, the trustee want those funds back because they're saying that $25 million was stolen clients' money. She also owes over $2 million to the IRS, not to mention all of the other lawsuits that she has going on. Earrings, clothes, this, that, and the third. So let's keep going. And when the housewife went to court in a failed bid to keep diamond earrings believed to be bought for, to be bought with $750,000 of stolen funds, co-star Garcelle Bouvet blasted her for living, quote, off of the backs of the alleged victims. Shout out to Garcelle doing the damn thing. According to sources, Garcelle, 56, isn't the only series regular who's disgusted. They openly called her out for not having empathy, said the source with knowledge of the matter. The insiders spill that Erica is also on the out now, now, because, she, now because she, her best friend, who wrote, nobody, people need to edit this stuff. The insider spill that Erica is also on the, announce, on the outs now because her best friend, Lisa Renna, fled the show after eight seasons. By fled the show, you mean fired. There we go. Now Erica's feeling the freeze and worried how she's going to survive another season, said the source. Now, don't forget, they always say, if you want a housewife out, you have to ice her out. Think about what they were trying to do with Ed and Potomac with Wendy, but clearly that didn't work and it blew up in their faces because now we love Wendy and she's great. Um, but they were clearly trying to ice her out. We've seen this happen before. If they won't film with you, if they won't do scenes with you, if they won't engage with you, if they don't invite you to stuff, right, then who are you going to film with? Who are you going to be a part, you know, who are you going to be around? But I will say we also have to remember that Erica Jane was also just at Crystal's 40th birthday party. And she was posting how, you know, she was kissing Crystal and it seemed like every that they were making up and the feud was over and all of that stuff. And it seemed more like, <coughs> sorry, one second. Okay. And it seemed more like it was Kyle who was on the outs with the group because Kyle was the one who posted that cryptic Instagram story. Like when I lower my frequency to people and meet them where they are, I, I always end up paying for it, blah, 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 you know, rise to meet me. Like, shut up, Kyle. If you didn't watch that, it's on the channel. Kyle playing the victim as always. So we're going to see how, how this really plays off because it seemed like Erica was getting along with everybody and made amends with Crystal at her 40th birthday. So we'll see. As Raider Online previously reported, Jane has been dragged into various legal battles with her ex-husband. In 2020, Tom and his law firm, Girardi Keys, were forced into bankruptcy by creditors. Uh-huh. The once respected lawyer stands accused of running his law firm like a Ponzi scheme. The trustee presiding over the law firm's bankruptcy sued Jane, sued Jane for the return of $25 million that the firm spent to pay the reality star's bills. 
Jane argued she had no reason to believe Girardi was broke at the time. Ms. Girardi at all, at all times was and is an entertainer with a 12th grade education. Ms. Girardi was never and is not an attorney, and she trusted that Girardi Keith, Mr. Girardi, and the outside accountants, given their superior knowledge and expertise, pre prepared pre expertise, prepared proper, lawful, and legitimate tax returns, her, her attorney argued. So basically, they're using the I'm too stupid defense. I'm too stupid to have done this crime. That's that's their defense. Shut up and girl bye. And I'll tell you why. Number one, Erica, you've already been caught on camera saying multiple times that you pretty much could be a lawyer. How much time you spent with Tom, not just with Tom, but particularly at Girardi and Keys. So which is it? Is Erica so dumb and stupid she could not commit this crime? Or was she right underneath Tom for decades and she could be a lawyer herself? And also, ignorance of a crime does not absolve you from accountability and liability of committing a crime. I can't run a red light and be like, oh, sorry, officer. I had no idea I couldn't do that. Sorry, I had no idea. No, you're still getting a ticket, sweetheart. You know, ignorance of a crime does not absolve you from, you know, being liable for the crime. Also, they're saying, oh, you know, Erica had no reason to think that he was broke. That's not the pro that's not the issue. Nobody is disputing whether or not Tom Girardi had money. That's not what's in question. The question is whether or not the money Tom Girardi had was legally his or was it stolen by his clients? Nobody said he was broke. They're just saying that the money he had was fraudulently gained. So that, that argument also literally makes no sense. Erica, girl, you in danger. If I can sit here and tear apart your defense, I'm pretty sure a trained prosecutor who actually went to law school can tear your defense to shreds. Because I think the average person, this just smells like a bunch of BS. Just a bunch of BS. Okay, let's keep going. It says... Jane demanded the entire lawsuit be dismissed. However, her attempts to have the suit tossed have been unsuccessful. Gee, I wonder why. The trustee and Jane are involved in settlement discussions, but if no deal is reached, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star has asked for a jury trial. So they are in settlement discussions, which I hope they find a way to settle. Because number one, going to trial is just going to waste taxpayers' money government time, taxpayers' time, and it's going to just waste everything. It's going to waste money. It's going to waste time. And it's an insult to the victims, the slap in the face for her to take this to trial. Just settle it, find an amount, and pay it. You're making 600 k a season, allegedly. Get on that plan. How are you, How's your extensions doing? Are you selling any, you know, I don't know, downloads of, of your music? Girl, you better get your life. You better get your life. You better get your life. And this is another thing, Erica, why you're stupid. I don't mean to call names or anything, but you're a dumb criminal. This is another thing. The more you keep fighting all of this stuff, the more they're going to keep digging to find things against you. What I mean by that is if you hadn't fought the earrings for the 750K earrings, I doubt they would have you know, researched as much more into your whole, now we need the whole itemized situation for all of your money and where all the money went. Now we need X, Y, and Z. Now we need this, that, and the third. The more you fight in court, the more they're going to dig to have against you. If we found out you had that Wells Fargo, Florida account that Jim Wilkies or Wilkes, however he pronounces his name, set up for you, that Tom had him set up for you, with victims' money, in my opinion. If we could figure out that you've already gotten over half a million from them, I bet the feds could figure that out. The FBI could figure that out. The prosecution could figure that out. So the more you keep fighting, the more they're going to keep digging. That's why you have lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Girl, 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 girl. All right, let's keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Okay. So that was end of that. But I want to know what you guys think. Like, do you really think that the rest of the cast 
quote, have it out for Erica. What do you think? Do they do you really think they want her gone? Or do you think Erica is going to come in guns blazing? I think this is what I think is going to happen. I think Erica is going to try and make amends with Crystal Sutton and Garcelle. And I think she's going to try and go after Dorit and Kyle. I think there's a lot of bitterness between them now. I think there's a lot of um, resentment because I think Erica and Lisa Renna really got, you know, their feet held to the fire more so than the other ones. But in my opinion, the whole full Fox five all the way back to Teddy Mellencamp days have been just as evil, hypocritical, conniving and lying and all the way down in the gutter than anybody else has been. So I think there's going to be a lot of resentment there. I also say this because we just saw Garcelle, who was doing, you know, promo and stuff for her new movie on Lifetime, Black Girl Missing. And I think it was Sherry Shepard who asked her about her relationship with Erica, or it was somebody from E! News, something like that. And she was like, you know, we're going to see how we're going to be. You know, we're going to see. We're going to show up and see what happens with the dynamic now, especially because Lisa's run is gone. She didn't give me the vibe that she was gunning to get Erica gone. But then again, would Garcelle actually come out and say that? I'm not 100% sure. So I, I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. What do, what do you think? I, I also think that I could see them wanting Erica gone, but I also could see them not wanting to rock the boat too much. Because there's also the idea that, you know, having Erica there sort of does give them a built-in storyline too, given the Girardi stuff. You can hold her to task. You can, you know, talk about all of that stuff. It's a good deflection on your own stuff if you don't want to talk about it. I'm looking at you, Kyle. I'm looking at you, Dorit. You know? Whereas I think Erica's going to be like, hey, listen, Dorit and Kyle, we need to talk about your stuff. You know, your bankruptcies, your fraud cases, your cheating allegations. You know, let's talk about what's going on in your lives. What's happening with Mauricio being sued every other day with the agency? What's happening with with PK filing all this that bankruptcy and running around that and running around from you know the UK to LA and to LA to New York, running away from creditors? What about the Mauricio cheating allegation? Can we talk about that? Are we just going to pretend that never happened? That there wasn't this huge allegation that Mauricio and Dorit were having sex? We're not going to talk about that. So there's a lot of juicy stuff to talk about, a lot of juicy stuff. So I, I am interested to see what the new dynamics will be. It's also interesting that it seems like Kyle is also a bit on the outs. Kyle, to me, honestly, I think she probably should have sat this one out. I feel like Kyle's going to have a very rough season. I don't think that Kyle is... And I say this actually with a lot of compassion. I know we clown Kyle. I tell her to shut up all the time. Vile Kyle. You know, it's fun. It's a key key. It's not deep or serious. But I actually think that Kyle is going through something. And I think Kyle maybe should have sat this one out to really work on her own mental health. And I mean that genuinely, not in a disrespectful, not in a trying to like gag her way. I mean that from like an actual serious, I think Kyle maybe should have taken a beat Everything with, you know, her weight loss and her body, the, the Ozempic claims, the multiple nose jobs, the getting four tattoos, the quote anxiety where she can't talk and get a fog in her throat and all this, that and a third. Like, I think Kyle maybe should have just taken a bit of a beat. And I think she's going to have a really, really rough season. And I don't know if she has the mental toughness for it, if that makes sense. You know, also with the posting, like, I lower my frequency to people, rise up to meet me and blah, blah, blah. Like, when people post on social media, like, too much of, like, inspirational, spiritual quotes, I'm always like, what's going on with you? You know, like, and, like, I'm not being a hypocrite because, like, I, I will post the, you know, inspirational, bad beat, you know, spiritual thing every now and then. I'm all for it. But sometimes I always squint and I'm like, what? what's good? Are you okay? Do we need, do we need to do a wellness check? Does somebody need a little bit of attention? What's going on? You know? So I kind of feel like Kyle probably should have maybe sat this season out. 
Okay, but I want to know what you guys think. Put it down below. But before we move on to our next story, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box and join our newsletter. It is 100% free, and you get a free self-love guide when you sign up. So with that, let's head 